Hello there, this is Cheryl Lentz, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, winging it on Wednesday with the He's the Man Monkey Cut Kit. So I I can't find my little slip, but you can go to stampingjourney.com. It will list out, show you a picture and list out of everything that's included in the kit and everything, um, you know, a picture of everything and the pricing and all that good stuff. So it's made to go along with He's All That is a, um, a stamp set that has dies, all that dies, and a nice little bundle in the new annual catalog. So I haven't played with this for a while, but I thought with Father's Day coming up, hello, Evelyn, with Father's Day coming up, I thought this is perfect. We'll go ahead and play with this. I have some of the stamps out because um, they're for cards in class, but we'll use what we have and see what we can come up with. So I'm going to turn the camera around. If that bothers you, please close your eyes. Here we go. I'm going to go for a little ride down to my desktop there we go make it a little bit bigger camera waddles <laughs> it wobbles waddles I don't think it can waddle but it can wobble okay so here we go so here's the stamp set and the dies that go with wonderful and let's open this up so the kit is open here and I have played with this before, so I know. So you get, ta-da, some of the ribbon. You get twine, and then you get this black, this uh, early espresso faux suede. Love that stuff. All these little, there's one whole page, a 12 by 12 page, that has all these cool little punch outs that we've used on a number of the cards. Here's your DSP all cut and ready to go. Uh, also, um, cardstock cut and ready to go for layering, and then all these extra little pieces. Um, it, this kit also included the um, new um, note cards, the craft paper note cards with envelopes. We did some of those, I know. And the white sheets all cut up, so ready to stamp on or ready to use as insides. And then here are all my bases and envelopes that are included in there. So um, I generally start out with a, with a mess on my desk. <laughs> my desk is just a total disaster area, but that's how I work. <laughs> I've, I've decided not to fight it. That's how I work. So let's pull this out and take a look at what we have here for the DSP. And we'll get started on that. Let's see here. I'm going to do this. We generally, I hate to say always because, you know, that one time I forget to do it. But um, there's usually a slip in here that tells you the different, um, the name of the, uh, the designer paper and then all the colors that go along with it. So you are aware of that. Let me put that over here. Okay. Let's see, I should do the camping one. My oldest son is camping up in Copper Harbor, Michigan. This whole week they've been camping and I think they've had some rain, so I feel bad. <laughs> I wanna camp with six kids in the rain. So at seven, they have seven along, Parker's along with them, so there you go. So I love this paper because, first of all, it has these cool prints, the uh, cool, like guy prints, you know, that look like suits, but it covers camping. Here's the camping one. It covers uh, uh, glasses and ties and, you know, so if you have a fancy man, mustaches. It covers, there's another one of those interesting prints. It has cars. Let's see here. Am I going over here? Yeah, so here it has cars. I love Cajun Craze. Here's the man guy. And then it has the barbecue which is totally, totally cool, the barbecue guy. So uh, just about anything that you want to cover, they have it in this kit. I think it's really fun. And then on the back side, we'll turn these over. They have all these interesting prints too. Um, the nice, uh, the stripes and the dots and the plaids and just a lot of really nice prints to work with. So if you just have like a really nice verse or... Whatever you want, something more neutral than, you know, the activities that are shown, you can pick out one of these cool prints that go with. So there we go. I'm like trying to get a deck of cards out here. 
but you get the idea. Very cool. All right. So I think we've done, uh, we have done some barbecue stuff. Maybe this time we should use the smaller pieces and do a little mix and match of patterns. I think I've done that a little bit, but I love all these different patterns that you could mix and match with. Two. Let's see here. I love I love the old cars. I think that's fun. The muscle cars, right? Muscle cars. Maybe this one goes with that good. Muscle cars. That's kind of fun. And so I'm just going to pull something out and see what we have here. So if we're going to go with the cars, I was going to go with just patterns, but let's put some patterns together and just play with it. So I like this one very neutral. So the other side of the muscle car, right? Very neutral. But then if you want to do a pop of color, I think you, which was what you would need in there. You'd want to do one. I guess I used up all my little, I've used this kit quite a bit, all my little strips, but you could add another one. And then of course you have all these fun things to add. And there's a ton of different little things. So here's the grilling one. I think that's so fun. Camping, <laughs> those two could go together. You're a champ, that's kind of fun. Strong and courageous. I like this one. You make me happy. I like nice cool beer. Um, you're stronger than you know. This one, if you are doing um, like scrapbooking, great. Or even to put it on and put a thing on it. You could use it. I know there's little deer in here. There's tools, hammer, hammer, and a wrench. Here's some more. Cheers to y'all. Cheers to all your years. So there you go. Happy birthday one. That's kind of fun. Cheers to all your years. That might be sort of fun to put in there. What else could we do next to that? I know they have a bus in here. There's just a ton. There's a ton of little fun, fun things here. I like that one with the cheers to the years. Maybe this would go good with that, even though I said plain. But looking at vintage cars, thinking of that, or we could go this way, this way. I think we'd put the heavier one, the darker color on the bottom, and you could go here like that and have it in there. Ta-da, cheers to all the years. I like that idea. All right, so if we're going with that, let me pull out a base, see what we have. Well, here, let's see here. Yeah, we'll pull out a base and then we'll pull out. So I'm thinking the Cajun, pull out the color, right? And then let's see, I think that we would go with the black cardstock for the layering. out here. There we go. I'm going to pull this out to go behind here. Ta-da. And let's see here. I might pull out a long one. Well, I need one for the inside. Two. Ta-da. There we go. So I had my, I had PT this morning. And I was so proud of myself. <laughs> I've been doing my homework because I um, got another 10 degrees. So I'm at 92 degrees bending my knee. He wanted 90 in 90 degrees in three weeks. So I'm, I'm there. Although not comfortably, right? I need to work on it yet, but, but at least I can do it. I like that. That's kind of cool, so I'll chop that off. Mm -hmm. Hmm, I like that. That's a fun card. It's not a Father's Day card, but it could be. Cheers to all your years as dad, right? Let's do this. I'm gonna cut these 
off a little bit. And I always keep the scraps because you're going to use it somewhere. There we go. And I like this with the cars. I like the little bit of color on there. And then... So, let's see here. So this would go here. Like that. And then this one is going to overlap a little bit. And I could cut that off, but I'm probably not going to do it. And then I'm just going to put this right in the middle. That'll go end to end. And then this one. Cheers to all your years. Ta-da. I like that. I like that one a lot. Okay. So... Gosh, without in any stamping, um, to the man who does everything, happy birthday. So, happy birthday to a classic. That's what we'll put inside. Kind of a fun, fun thing. Fun set. All right. And this is in no way promoting drinking and driving. <laughs> but just kind of the activity here. All right, so I'm going to put the this one down first because I want a little bit more of the car print. So it just happens that this is the back side of it. And here we go. Put this down. So um, if this is your first time watching me, watching me babble on screen. So what I do on Wednesdays is we have these cool monkey cut kits. And they're all a little bit different. They all have different um, things in them. They feature a certain designer paper. And then I just open a box up and play. I don't come in with a plan of action. So we never know what's going to happen. So bear with me when I'm sometimes just like going, I don't know. I don't know if I like that. And this one's going to cover that up. We're going to put that right there in the middle. So... So that's what I do. I love to just sit and play. So on Tuesday, yesterday, I did... Um, now, what I like to do to line these up and make sure I get it straight is that I'm watching my grid paper and lining it up line to line on my grid paper. Um, yesterday, I played with a lot of the new dies and things, so I can't wait to sit down. I did create a card right after with one of the new, um, see, that's kind of cool. Um, with one of the new dies for, um, oh boy, if I could talk, I'd be doing so well. Um, embossing folders, I'm saying. One of the new embossing folders. It was a deep uh, floral. And so I just, I had daubers on my desk and so I just quick put a card together using the daubers I had here, and it turned out so good. I, I'm, we're going to have it in class. I really liked it. Ta-da. I'll show you on Friday. So there we go. That's going to go there. And then we're going to put it on here like that. What kind of, um, did this have embellishments in it? Because I must have taken them out of my kit. Yeah. I'm not sure which one it had because I need some little embellishments and I, I don't remember what I had. Oh, okay. So here it is. The rustic metallic. It comes with this, but I probably took them out and put them in my um, here. Rustic metallic dots also come with that. Almost all of them come with some type of embellishment, but sometimes when I'm working with my things, I steal them and put them in my personal one up here. <laughs> So, not that this isn't mine, but there we go. So, you've got a whole um, pack of those that come with the kit also. All right. So, those will look really neat to put some along here. Give it a little extra something. There we go. I should do a Father's Day card while I'm puttering here. That is this coming Sunday already. I can't believe it. This will be kind of a tough one because this will be, you know, with Peter gone. But everybody, 
I'm hoping that everybody comes and we just have a nice, a nice day to grill. We have had such super hot weather that um, our pool should be like boiling. <laughs> I the other yesterday when I was on at I'm gonna put three on here. Yesterday when I was on at five o'clock, it was still 90 degrees out. <laughs> That's crazy here. We went from like winter to summer, boom, mid middle of the summer. Ta-da, I like that. All right, now we're gonna do the inside here. So that's fun. See, those little um, punch outs are really cool and they cover a lot of different things. So it's a fun thing to use. And I think we're gonna put our words in with, cause I wanna have a little more color in here. We'll use the Cajun craze <clears throat> for coloring for the words inside. There we go. I think this is a newer one, so it's pretty juicy. Let's see here. And I'm just gonna go smack dab in the middle maybe and i'm gonna take this little one i want the car part on it so i am going to just put the tab on here i'm just going to put it part way and cut this off i'm not going to cut a whale tail on it i want the because i want the car showing so i'm just gonna do a little cut that in half ta-da and I'm just going to glue it right at the top here. There we go. All right. There. A yeah, little bit of glue. I love the green glue. Gives me wiggle room. Okay, and we'll put this inside, and voila, that was fast. One card done. We've sold a number of these. Uh, Susie, yours is going out today. Um, Julie put them together today, so, um, and I have one more I know in stock right here because she made two of them up today. So, Yahoo! All right, there's one. Let's try to do something, another one quick here. If y'all wanna hang out and see what else I can come up with. Okay, so that's the first one. I really like that. That's fun. Now, let's see here. I like the idea of piecing some of these together and I was gonna try to do something using just the the patterns instead of always um, it could go up and down and then we could use one of these again uh, let's see you make me happy do we have a theme here <laughs> I might have a theme here let's see here or should we do we could do this one too you're flipping awesome. <laughs> I should have the barbecue stuff with this one, but this is sort of fun. There we go. You are flipping awesome. Now, I thought that there was some more. Holy smokes, you're the best. That would go, could go inside, but I like the little tools and I haven't used them yet. So let me see what else I have that would go along with that maybe. Strong and courageous. Here, they have a whole bunch of little things. I like the idea of the truck, though, or the, I like the verse. I think it's fun. Okay, so here's this stuff. Words. I'm not sure what that one is supposed to be. This one is nice work. Oh, here, you did it. That one could have the tools with it. 
I like the, but I want one going the other way. This one could have tools with it. Nice work, or you did it. You did it. Bam, bam. Those could go together. Yeah, they have the little deer. I would put that with that. That might be kind of fun. So you'd be like a five star person, right? Five star, he's a five star. And then somewhere in here, I think I had more of the little corners, but I don't, in my picking them up and using them, I don't know, I might have moved them somewhere else. Okay, that's sort of fun. So I'm going with kind of the same colors, right, with that, but I wanted to bring that color in uh, from the flame. So if we're using this time, uh, let's see what I have for my bases. See, I could bring in the yellow because I have that with my frame. I think it's actually, I don't know if it's crushed curry. It's probably, yeah, crushed curry. Let me see if I like that. Move this over here without. Okay. So like that. So what I look at is like, I like this small pattern on here kind of is the same. Um, I like that it combines in that color you know, so you're having the same thing. And let's see what else we could put on here. I wish I had the finger, a finger going the, pointing the other way. Because I like the light on the dark, right? So that shows up nicely. I think we're just going to do that. And then for the base, we're going to go with the dark dark brown. So early espresso. I think I have one in here yet. It's black. Do I have an early espresso base? Yes. One left. Okay. So I have the early espresso base. There. Let's try a different pattern here. Let's try... So we have a couple different, we have this nice little check. Here's this one too. A little bit lighter. Let's just try this and see what you think. The stripe and the check. I feel like I'm mixing up patterns. I need my, um, what were the granimals that we used to get for the kids? I need my granimals to say if that matches. That's kind of interesting. It gives a little more texture when you have a different, uh, the different patterns. That's sort of fun. I like that. I think we're gonna go with that one. And then, let's see, do I have a thin piece? This is what's gonna go inside. Uh, here's the thin piece. What do I have on the other side? That's the check. I think we're going to leave it at that. We're going to do this. Okay, I'm going to cut this off. Now, on the other one, I added, I put the two pieces together and then added a piece, uh, accent piece in there, but I'm not sure that I want to do that. And I might actually want to bump up this whole piece just to give it more interest. Oh, here's my other corner. See, I knew I had two of them. Because I'm thinking... These would look nice on here, on the corners. Now, where's my other one? I just had it over here somewhere. Oh, come on, right here. I need my paper, my pickup tool here. Now, where'd I go? I flipped, here it is. See, that kind of ties that together. That's sort of fun, okay. So I have to cut these off a little bit. I'm gonna do that. 
Here we go. I can use those little pieces later. I'm gonna dump those there so I can find them again. There, okay. So I want the plaid to be the biggest part. I know these are gonna overlap a little bit, so I'm gonna put this one down first. My barbecue on the other side but I love the Cajun stripe too. Whoops, stay there. All right. There. And then I'm gonna put this one on. Well, I said, I'm gonna bump this one up. Let's make it, that'll be fun. We're gonna bump this one up. So I'm gonna put quite a few on here cause I don't want it to kind of collapse on me, right? There we go. I love dimensionals. <laughs> Can you tell? There we go. I just think you can add so much interest with such a small thing. There, okay. So we're gonna bump that up. I have class this afternoon although I haven't been good about writing down things, so i um, not sure who's gonna be here, but I have about uh, four or five new cards I've added to the buffet. We had quite a few that got finished up, so that was good. So we have new stuff coming out all the time on the buffet. Uh, oops, come on, I'm seeing doubles, there we go. Okay, I like that. And we're going to put this here, and I'm going to bump that up too. Because these are thinner. I'm going to, I like that idea of having some texture on here. Oh, those new embossing folders. Wow. 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 I was impressed yesterday. <laughs> so the key with the embossing folders is remember to follow the directions on that come with your, um, if you have the new cut and emboss machine. Remember to follow the directions that are on there because if you leave that plate number two in, that's that thin plastic one, and you force it through on some of those embossing folders, your plate is gonna bow. And um, so just remember to look at that. Um, if, it's, if it doesn't wanna go through, there's a reason. So I'm gonna just move that over so it's sorta Ta-da, I like that. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna put these little, where's my other one? Gosh, did I lose it? No, it's right here. So I'm gonna take this, oh, oh my goodness sakes. I haven't even been drinking, I'm like, <laughs> kind of. I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive on here and then put this on my corners. There. That brings that color in. I like that idea. These are kind of cool. Just a little bit of, I got a little bit too much on there. Okay. There we go. There. Ta-da. And then we could even go with a couple of these, oh. not that. Um, where do we want to put these? Um, trying to see here. I think they would be kind of cool. I want to go with the little bit bigger ones, I think. But I'm not sure where I want to go with them. Maybe I don't. Hey, this is enough. Maybe I need to take a little piece of this suede. I love this faux suede. This is something that came back, and I just think it's really cool. Let me cut a piece of this off once. And see about... Adding an accent, just kind of tucking that in there. 
I might, I might do that. Let's make it a little bit shorter. So I don't have to tuck as far. Kind of wasted that, but I'm going to go this way. Oopsie daisy. My scissors must need to be sharpened. Okay. So I want to put this in there. Ta-da. And I think what I'll do is take a glue dot and just kind of sneak it under there. Curl it up. Lift this up a little bit. Ta-da. Kind of sneak it under there. And then I can put these little ones on here. I think it's holding it in. Oop, come back here. nailed on there there that's what we'll do I love these metallic I think they're sort of fun metallic dots here there all right Move that over let's get a better clip here oops better cut there. Better yet, here we go. The big mama scissors. Well, I'm going to cut the whole thing off and then you can't even see it. Pull it out a little bit. There. But I want it at an angle. I'm just not doing it right. There we go. Okay. Ta-da. I like that. All right, and we're going to put that on our early espresso base. That's fun. Pops out those colors. Makes it a little brighter. There we go. Yeah, I think the, the card that I made uh, that I'll show you on Friday with that the floral embossing folder, the new one, I used um, Poppy Parade and Gorgeous Grape. <laughs> so it sounds kind of weird, but it really worked. It was really good. It looked nice together because the flowers were colored that way. And then I used uh, um, Soft Succulent. So this is going to go inside so it matches the layering. And we're going to put... Uh, I have the Happy Father's Day. We're going to put Happy Father's Day in here. Here we go. Try to get that somewhat straight. Again, I'll use the Cajun, I think. No, you know what? I'm going to use Early Espresso. Let's go with the dark. Since that is in Early Espresso, too. We'll just use the dark one. Don't all the dads, almost all the dads, my dad always grilled. Um, Peter always did the grilling. I never had to do that kind of stuff. I would get it all ready, but the guys do the grilling. That's just the way it should be. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And let's see here. We could cut these. Put two little. I want to cut these. In half, though. I want them smaller. I'm going to chop up everything today here. Chop, chop. I'm going to make them narrower. Because I want to put two little strips down here. With both of the colors in. So I'm just going to cut it in half. Like that. And I'll probably shorten it up. And there we go. And I'll just put two little tiny strips here. I'm going to cut this. Oop. Cut a little whale tail in there. Okay. And I'm going to see how far up. I'm going to glue it and then I will cut it off. Because I want this one here and then I want 
the other color kind of overlapping with it so we have the same patterns as the front of the card. Got to decorate the inside, folks. Got to decorate the inside like that. Okay. So I'm just going to do this. Put a little bit of adhesive on here. Straighten this out a bit. Okay, this is going to go here. I can just clip that off. I didn't put the glue that far down, so I can use this on another one. And then this one. I'm going to make it a little shorter. There. There we go. Okay. Clip, clip. Got a little too much glue on there, sorry. Okay, ta-da. See that little tiny bit of scraps makes it look mm -hmm. a lot different in the inside, right? Just a little, that little tiny bit, things that you would maybe throw away. Um, put them in the inside, decorate the inside of your card. It should not be naked. <laughs> it, it makes the card more balanced, more finished. It just looks good. Just looks good that way. There. Ta-da. I think this is one I could give to Carl. When he comes, Carl is uh, my oldest son who has a lot of children. And when he comes, the, he usually does the grilling. Um, or Travis. We Travis is my younger son, and he lives real close. I got a little extra glue on there, so I'm going to take this glue eraser and just... And I, I always said to him that the old people that he's taking care of, Peter and I, and now it's just me, uh, are more work than the eight kids Carl has. <laughs> so here we go. Here's our cards using the He's the Man monkey cut kit. So lots of fun things to, to add and to put together. And um, this is a fun kit. So there we go. I'm going to turn the camera around. Ouch, ouch. Hi, Susan. Here we go. Okay. Ta-da. So, there you go. All done. I hope you all have a great... Uh, I'll see you on Friday. but um, And then Father's Day will be on Sunday. So, I'll see you on Friday. I'm going to show some of the things I played with yesterday. And um, we'll see what else I can come up with. Maybe for some more of the He's the Man Monkey Cut Kit also. So take care. Have a great one. I think we're having storms here again tonight. Yesterday, that's why I was later because the storms knocked out. I was lucky I had my electricity, but um, I did not have internet until later in the day. So that's why I was a little delayed. So hopefully, knock on wood, everybody stays safe and, um, and makes it through all these storms coming up. Take care. Bye-bye.